Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we follow Auditing Reno 911 as he attempts to audit a correctional facility and winds up with a shiny new pair of handcuffs. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy this friendly encounter. And that's where we're going to be going. Let's go see what happens. I have no idea why frauditors are so interested in correctional facilities. They're generally high security areas, completely off limits to public access, and they're not even considered public forums. Why would you want to disturb the peace in one of them? Looks like they're going. Hi there. Hello, sir. What's your what name? For you? what, what's your name? Lieutenant Ryer. What can we do for you? I'm just taking pictures and filming. Okay. Could you do it off the property, please? Um, is this a public roadway? No, this is not a public roadway. Where, where does it say this there's... This belongs to the prison, sir. I need you to film yeah, off the property. Where, where does it say no trespassing? Sir, I'm asking you to please film off the property. Otherwise, I'll have Carson S.O. come tell you to get off the property. Well, well, can you show me where it says no trespassing? No, sir, I'm not showing you anything. I'm telling you, you need okay. to do the property. Well, well then, if, if there's no... I'm a sworn no... peace officer for the state of Nevada, uh, I, I, I appreciate that. It's not that. an unlawful order, so could I please okay, get you to go so off the property? If it's not an yes, unlawful... Sir, no, sir. It's not an unlawful. Sir, yes or no, so I can call Carson S.O. Well, let me ask okay. some questions. You're not. You're saying yeah, I don't get to ask questions. I will questions. call Carson S.O. and let them know. Okay. Thank you. T tell them that I'm exercising my constitutional rights. Being a citizen of the United States, you have lots of rights and privileges, but those rights and privileges can only go so far. Such as, you cannot enter a correction facility because that is not a public forum. Well, that was quick. Okay, here we go. So we've already been stopped. And we got to EX61630. And hi there. go up here and we're gonna go look for a no trespassing sign a little longer than a few minutes later okay yes sir and, and what was your name again lieutenant Ryer I already told you sir and, and do you have a badge number Ryer and Ryer Need a minute, sir. Do you have a badge number? Please identify. Let's look in the back of the van here. Thank God I'm not back here. Closing the window. Yes, sir. And what's your badge number? 10,300. 10,300, okay. Um, so just to let you know what I'm involved in, Sir, I'm not worried about what you're involved in. You're on our property. I need you to leave. Um, I'm not, where, I have nothing where, else to say. Uh, again, has all rise. Thank you. again where, where are the... Okay. I'm going to go keep walking then, okay? 15 minutes later. Okay, so I'm going to say it real loud with your roll-up window. So I'd, I'd like you to read four dice versus Seattle. That's case law. Sir, I'm Hang on, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm telling you that right now under right NRS 197-200, you're oppressing my rights under the color of law. So your qualified immunity may not exist. It's a violation of constitutional rights under federal law on the criminal side of Title 18 USC 242. 241 is conspiracy. When you bring two or more into it, to violate constitutional rights. I'm exercising my constitutional right 
to film in public. The most recent court, the Tenth Circuit on July 22nd in Azari versus Yahia. So that's your case law for what I'm doing. You have a nice day. Contextually, that might apply to other places, but you are on a correctional facility. The rules are different here. Now, this video is rather long, so I'm just going to cut to when the police show up. I am good. How are you? What? Could, could I hang on a second? Let me get a little closer so I can hear you. What, what's your name and your badge number? I'm Sergeant Smith. Sergeant Smith? Yes, sir. And your number? I don't have a badge number. I have an employee ID number, what, 38095. 38095. Thank you. You can ask what you're, uh, what you're doing out here? I'm exercising my constitutional right to film in public and okay. to disseminate the information as a member of the press. Okay. I can only let you go so far, sir. You, can, you can't come on the state's property. We're not allowing well, you on there. You're also not wearing the right colors for that. If you wear a blue shirt, we can mistake you for an inmate. Well, um, let me ask a question here. Is this a public road? This is the state's owned road. It, so the state owns this road? I believe they do, yes. Okay. Is there Are there any no trespassing signs from... I don't know. Did you see any in your way in, sir? I documented everything, and there are no no trespassing signs that I can find. Do you have any posted that I may have missed? Uh, I'm unaware. If you can go back there and check, you'd be more than willing to go I've, back there. And I've check. already documented my two cameras. Okay. To make sure I'm not violating any laws. Right. So, is this a publicly funded road, open to the public? And if I'm a visitor, can I come down this road? Are you and park? here to visit an inmate? I'm here to do my business. If you're not there for a job interview, nor do you have to visit a prisoner, then you have no business there. So move along home before they take you in. Okay. Well, I will, I will let you know, sir, that we have called the sheriff's department. Okay. And they, they will be on their way. Okay. Um, this is a, a state facility. It's okay. a correctional center. And we I understand have that. guys walking around here filming for safety reasons. Well, well, no, I don't want to go in any secured area. I don't want to go in anywhere that says authorized personnel only. I, I only want to go into publicly accessible areas. That's why I'm very conscious of asking you if there's trespassing signs. Um, that's why I'm trying to make sure I'm engaging with you and telling you exactly what I'm doing. Right. Uh, I'm not avoiding you. As you mentioned, I'm wearing a blue shirt. I, I, I've never been to this prison before. I don't know what your rules are on the inside, but the rules on the inside, I haven't been convicted of anything. Good and I'm exercising a constitutional right. No, I understand that. So uh, if you want to interfere with that constitutional right, that, that's, you're probably going to lose qualified immunity, and I'd rather educate than litigate. So I'd much rather discuss this with you and try to explain to you what my rights are or anybody else's rights are with the camera. Oh, so you think you're an educator. Well, how's the field of pedagogy been treating you? Speaking of pedagogy, let's skip on forward and see how well his lessons have been taught to him. Or is that not the warden's car? Excuse me. Hey, excuse me, sir. Yes, sir. I'm just taking pictures. Oh, good. I, what, what's your name, sir? Hey, hang on. Let me get let me get closer so I can hear you, sir. Let, let me get closer so I can hear you. Can I get closer so I can hear you? Can I get closer so I can hear you? No, sir. Oh, I can't get closer so I can hear you. I'm going to ask you to remove yourself from the property. Okay. Is this trespassing on state property? Is this you're not, you're not, you are in an unauthorized position uh, property, sir? Okay. Can can I can I, I, need I, you to, I need you to remove yourself from the premises, sir? Can, can I, and sir, what's, what's your name, sir? Sir, I need you to remove yourself sir, from the what's, premises. Sir, what's your name, sir? Because you're not authorized to be on the property. Sir, what's your name? This is a state property. Sir, I'm what's... I'm asking you. Yeah, we call the loan lock boy. Yeah, he's right here. <clears throat> you were warned on several occasions to leave. Now you're going to be fitted with a nice pair of handcuffs because of your failure to do so. This gentleman is trespassing on property, and he refuses to remove himself. Sorry, I couldn't hear you from that far away. I'm okay. sorry. And, and sir, this gentleman <clears throat> trespassing on the property. Sir, can you identify yourself? I'm the warden of the company. And what's your name? So I'm asking him to be removed as a trespasser. Sir, sir, what is your name? You've engaged with me, sir. sir. What is your name? He came onto the property without permission. Sir, what is your name? Yes, it is. This is disrupting operations. This is disrupting operations. Okay. Sir, sir, what is your name? Okay. Put that down. Put your yes, hands behind your back. Okay. He is creating disturbance on the property. I'm not gonna risk these guys at all. 
Okay, can I advise you one thing? No, you may not. Right now, you okay. have the right to remain silent. Or anything you say can and may be used against you in the court. NRS 197 a, 200. Excuse me, I didn't interrupt you, did I? NRS 197 okay, I don't want to hear right, so I'm not going to talk about it. Well, NRS 197 200, so you're not going to Mirandize me. Interesting. I'm um, not going to ask you any questions. Step over to my vehicle. Okay. Well, there you have it, folks. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Fitted with a nice shiny pair of handcuffs because he refused to leave a high security area. Lesson here is that prisons are not public facilities. They are not public forums. And if you are asked to leave and don't do so, they will remove you themselves.